Some NPP youth Monday afternoon took over the passport office in Accra, demanding the immediate exit of the director of passports. Work at the passport office came to stand still until the police reinforcement was called in. The demand is, new director is here, this will allow him to work. This will allow him to work. That is all. This will allow him to work. In what capacity are you demanding that they should allow the new director to work? Because I'm a, I'm a Ghanaian. Because things, 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 things that are going here, it's not good. The explicit demand of these youth who stormed the passport office in Accra for them processes at the passport office are suspicious and gives the country a bad name calmly seated they have taken over the security post at the premises the director of passport alexander grant in Fraqua, narrates the story we saw some three cars entering the uh, premises they got to the gate the one of the cars was a pickup that was the, the pickup was in front a second car uh in the colors of mpp with a um, Honorable Patrick Bomes pistol on it, and the car number is GE 2608W BMW. And then a third car. And I saw a group of young men, numbering about 15 to 18, thereabout. They came out of the car and they started rushing into the passport office. And uh, when I asked of their mission, all they told me was that uh, they've been directed to come and take over the passport office and that they were coming to position their personnel at the entrance. Minutes after, the National Youth Organizer of the MPP, Samir Wuku, walks into the passport office. He talks to the group, then heads into the director's office. Well, they are, they are uh, supporters. And uh, I think uh, they, upon suspicion, they felt that people were taking away things from here. They didn't come in a Rambo style. I have spoken to the police here and they said they didn't have any altercation with them. But basically, uh, when they came in, and they also demanded from some of the plain clothed people there who said they were national security, they demanded for their tax because they felt that they was part of the conspiracy. Nonetheless, uh, we have spoken to them to remain calm. He alleges the party boys are there in the interest of the state. All they are doing is, you know, they are also observing that nobody takes anything out. But the police themselves have confirmed they haven't been violent. It's not the first time it's happening, even though it's not... It's not That's it's, no justification of it, isn't not it? Not at all. It's not justification, but I'm saying that it's not the first. Anytime there's a transition, the first few days of it, people are trying to find space here and there. But under His Excellency Nanado's leadership, there's enough space for everybody. These party loyalists, who are not employees at the passport office, have pitched come. It remains unclear how long they will be there. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.